Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial I want to show you a few things. The first thing is that you go to a car, open the door and sit in. And the second thing is that when you control the car, the steering wheel will control it as well. So, let's go. Before we start, make sure you go under project settings and input and go to move forward and move right and be sure that the gen generic USB controller axis is deleted because there's a bug in Unreal Engine that when you're not deleted and put on a controller to control the car the car will just drive in circles for no reason so be sure you delete that. So there are two ways to animate the doors and the steering wheel in my case there is a bone for the right door and the left door and as you can see in the default skeleton there's no steering wheel so we put the steering wheel as a static mesh into the car to animate it. Um, if you have a steering wheel as a bone you can do this as well. So, But be sure that uh, one of these options will be fit. So. Let's go to the event graph. So we have the steering input as a default function. So and to animate the steering wheel that is moving as the wheels, we just go under here and it's pretty easy to do that. So we take our wheel in this case and now we unplug the axis value then we say set relative rotation and split structure pin like that and then we put this inside here like that put the axis value into staring then we go outside here and say float multiplied by a float, put this to 90 because we want that the steering wheel is go 90 degree in each direction and do we put that into the x value like that. So yeah that's it. Compile, save that and when we now go into the car and press V I would recommend a controller for that because when you press A or D you can see it's moving but it's moving really fast so when you take a controller you can see it's more smoothly pretty good. When you go outside and take a look it moves like the wheels. Great! So the next thing will be that we want to open the doors of the car when we go through the car. So let's go to the animation graph of the car. By default every animation graph of the car looks like that. So let's extend that a little bit. So we unplug this and we want that the doors are managed by the animation graph. So we need two variables for that. So let's create an left door and an right door variable and this will be in float both of these like that. So what we need is we take our left door say get and then we say transform bone like that and then we can choose which bone we want to modify in this case the left door then we can copy this and then we say right door then we say add to existing by the rotation and here is well we put component pose inside here connect everything then we connect the left door to the alpha of the left door and as well the right door. So then we go to our rotation 
and say minus 67 or whatever you want. You have to figure out which rotation will be the best of the bone of the, your doors. In my case it is minus 67. Great. So let's compile and save that. So the next thing is that the event graph of the animation needs to be triggered. So we need an event blueprint update animation. And then we say cost to, in my case, it's called DC underscore test core. You have to choose what your course named. Then we say try get pawn owner. Put this inside here if you want. You can say is valid question mark like that and if it's valid it cars too. So let's um, save away. So and then we take our left door and say set. Put this inside here. The right door as well set right here. So what we need now is that our test car has these values as well. So we go back to our car and create the variables as well inside here. So left door as an float and the right door as well. So what we can do now is go as test car and say get left door, put this inside here and get right door like that. Put it inside here. Great, that's all of the animation blueprints. So let's go back to our test car because now we need some functions for that. Um, what we also need is a variable that called driver door as a boolean so that we can um, take a look which door is selected so then the player can open each door. So we go back to our viewport and um, as you can see we have the driver enter box or the enter box from the last tutorial so be sure that you watch the last tutorial if you want to know how you can enter a car and exit a car so that's an extension of that as you can see so let's copy this one let's say site enter box put it on the site so now we have a collision box for each site Go back to the event graph and what we need now is a function for that. So first thing will be that try enter, that's the function of the last tutorial. So we need now a second function to look up which door is selected. So as well we go here on event begin overlap, take this here and now we can just copy and paste the whole function. Put this inside here like that and now we use our driver door and say set as well down here. So if the driver enter box is <laughs> entered by the player of course the driver door is true and if the site enter box is entered then the driver door is false. So now we can see which door is selected. Great. So now we need a new function to open the doors. So first of all let's go back to our third person character and we have our enter car function from the last tutorial. 
And what we can do now is delete some things because we will put it into the car um, function. So all we want is that the driver is set and we need another variable that called enter car will be a boolean you can s we'll see later for what we use this so let's set it to true inside here and now we need a function on side here let's leave that here so let's create an add custom event and this will be the open doors like that and now we can go back to our third person character go from the active car and say open doors put this inside here this inside here okay wonderful so we can close that and now we just have to put some functions here. So the first thing is we need a branch like that to ask which door is selected. So as I said, when the driver door is hit, then the driver door is true. So then we go here and say we want first of all play a sound that the door is opening if you have a sound that would be good if not then just leave that I have a sound for that prepared so let's go to our sound the open door like that select it and as well for the faults because that will be the side door and will make a sound as well. So we need our get player controller like that. Great. And now we need a timeline to open the doors. So let's say add timeline. This will be open left door and we say play from start. We go with, with double click inside here and say add flow track. We call this open door. Put the length to let's say two add key to curve put this to zero zero add another key and this will be two and the value will be one like that great you can close that and now we can just copy it for the other door let's call this open right door and play from start. Great. So now we use our left door and right door float and set it. We will update it and open door will go to left door. The right door as well. Update and open door. Great. So the next thing is then the car will be open the doors and the player should go inside. So then we need get our pl uh, player controller and say pulses. Put this inside here. And the porn will be self. So in this case the car. So when we say self we get a reference and this will be the board so next thing is that we take our driver and say set actor enable collision 
leave it to false like that and of course we need our driver attach actor to actor like in the tutorial before put this to false and snap the target snap the target and keep world put the self in this case our car to parent and the socket name will be the driver seat from the last tutorial great so then we take our driver because we want to set the enter car boolean that I created so let's say set enter car put this inside here so this will be the when we go to our the person character this enter car will be set to false again like that and then we need an arrow set we go from the driver and say set in car so in this case if we get attached to the car he will not enter the car anymore so he be, um, because he is already in the car right now we need that for the animations for the character later so and the last thing is that we need another branch of course because we want that the door is closing so we and like before like at the begin like that we do the same thing so we take the timeline can copy and paste it right here and play from start and this will be the close left door but the thing is we have to switch around these keys so in this case it will start at 1 and at the end it should be 0 because the door should be closed and not open so let's save that and if you want you can of course rename it to close door and we can close that left door will be set right here so update and close door and then we can copy this one as well on the false play from start the right door oh, will be set it like before and then this will be close right door great so on begin it will ask for the which door is selected play the sound open the doors that we created the animation before then it will poses the car will be attached the third person character to the car set the variable um, enter car to false and in car to true because he's already in the car and then close the door so then we go back to up here go from finish to poses and of course as well of here great compile save that let's test it Feel play go to the car oh yeah we have to fix that so we go back to the animation blueprint so this one should be not minus 67 plus 67 sorry for that test again yeah much better yeah looks great so we go to the other door let's see if it looks here yeah that's good okay so the next thing will be that we want an animation to enter the car so let's go back to our character have this animation to enter the car put the link in the description for that 
And so let's go to our animation blueprint. We have already a state for the incur from the last tutorial. And now we need another state to enter the call. As well, we need a boolean for that. Let's say like that. So first of all, we go from the idle to enter core, from enter core to in core, and from in core to idle. Because I don't have an animation for leaving the car, sorry for that. So, the first will be the enter car. So let's get, put this right here, like that. Then we take our enter car animation, put it as an output. Then we go from this here to in core and from in core we go back to the idle so this will be the not boolean like that great so if the enter core boolean is true it will play the enter core animation then let's go to the in core animation and from in core if it's not boolean in the in core then go back to idle. Great. So we have to put that into the event graph. So we can just copy and paste the, the cars to third person character. Plug this in as well. We'll be set it. And then we take our enter car boolean and do the same thing like above here. So we say get enter car from the set person character put it right here great so let's test it with play go to the car hit enter go into the car yeah it works pretty good not perfectly but it's so cool great so I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and if you have any questions please let me know and yeah goodbye.